this one, this one was not disappointing for me. Gerald Mearshart defeats Mahmoud Muradov, sec- second round submission. And uh, wow, Muradov started this fight, dropped Mearshart twice. And uh, Mearshart just kept trying to get Muradov to jump into his guard, but he wasn't going to do it. And he, um, Mearshart was looking like Ryan Hall in there for a little bit, uh, just trying to lay down and, you know, trying to get Muradov to chase into the ground. You could see he was aware of that game plan, wasn't going to chase into the ground. And I was just counting down while writing my notes and while like setting up my results page, like it was just a matter of time before Miradov was going to land one on him and knock him out. And then Miradov was starting to sit back, started to, you know, was getting patient, which he does, he, you know, a lot, you know, he had, he went the distance with the Chirico and then he had like, I think two, three third round stoppages. So this is kind of how I saw this fight playing out. And I thought, if you start letting the fight come to you, you start letting Mearshart hang around, there might be some trouble here. Mearshart landed that groin strike on Miradov. Miradov yeah. took a little bit of time to recover and kind of restarted the fight. I thought that the the commentators were kind of doing their best Joe Rogan impression. They were kind of like kicking the tires of Mearshart a little bit, like not reacting when Miradov was, was landing but like reacting heavily when Mearshart was landing. Yeah. And Mearshart did land a few decent shots, but they weren't the commentators are making a lot out of nothing. And Mearshart, uh, you know, he just ended up he just ended up turning the tide of this fight. He ended up landing on Miradov himself and kind of just suffocating him against the fence. He had a moment there, he was just had a good ground and pound to going. And uh, almost, you know, he almost, uh, Mirdov kind of got saved by the bell in the sec- in the first round. And then the second round, Mearshart just rushed straight in and gets clipped, dropped again. Mirdov, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it was, it was Mirdov sh- should be a closer, but he's just letting Mearshart hang out in this fight. And then Mearshart drops Miradov and, you know, lets him get back up. Couple of shots again. And then Miradov looked a little bit hurt. And he was against the fence. And Mearshart went for a takedown, got his back. And then there was. And a, a bit of hand fighting. But you can't deny that a guy like Mearshart, one of the most dangerous guys at middleweight on the ground. And there was Rear Naked Choke. And uh, cash that. I had. I had a small, small piece of Mearshart on the money line, and I had the under. And uh, this is so interesting. Mearshart, plus 500 as an underdog, plus 800 to win by submission, uh, $100 better. If you've bet inside the distance on Mearshart in his last 10 fights, you've gone 5-5 five and five for plus $1,265 in that stretch. Um in his last five wins, he's now five and five in the UFC. In his last five wins, all five have come as a giant underdog. <laughs> so this guy is just, oh man. And I, uh, yeah, th- this was. Uh, what did you think about this one? Yeah, this was. I had I had Murdov in this one, and I was very disappointed. I started just getting this bad, bad feeling after. <laughs> Uh, Abdul Razak Al Hassan gets a round one KO right before this. That Jared Mearshart was just gonna replicate that classic, uh, classic performance in his own right and get a submission here. And obviously, that's exactly what happened. Uh, both guys landed some big shots. Murdov kind of generally getting the better of them in the first round. Felt like it was a pretty obvious round for him. Was able to get up after the takedown. And uh, GM three came to play in round two. I mean. He just, uh, it was it was just classic him, man. I mean, he was actually really holding his own on the feet there too. And he just pulls out the submission. As soon as it went down, you just get that bad feeling. And uh, that was my money down the drain right there. But uh, respect to GM3 for getting it done. Yeah, and like, I don't know what it was about Mir. Like, I feel like Mirdov was winning the fight until he wasn't anymore. You know, very like Conor McGregor-esque, where it just all went downhill all at once. Yeah, you, know? you, could, like, you could feel the momentum going, for sure. Yeah, and it was just, uh, 
I don't even know. And Mearshart was just begging for him to lose this fight. Like he's in his corner and his coaches is telling him, you need to like weave in and out of range. You can't just go straight forward. And then the second round starts. And the first thing he does is just barge in straight forward <laughs> and just run into a right hand of Muradov. And uh, honestly, I was like, <clears throat> I was thinking that Muradov because, like I said, he in a lot of his fights, he's let the fight go deep, deeper than it should, and then he ends up finishing it. Uh, and I was thinking, you know, if he lets Mearshart hang around, this is this has, like, third-round stoppage for Mearshart written all over it. And this wasn't the way that I thought. But, yeah, I did have a small piece of Mearshart. One of the uh, – if I didn't have this, it probably wouldn't have been a good night for me. This is, uh, you know, put a bunch of – I have like a one percent play on this, so not life changing money, but yeah. still, uh, still something good. He cashed yeah, it's at a nice hit, nice hit yeah, for sure. He cashed at ten to one odds to win by submission. So, uh, yeah, interesting fight. Not the way that I saw it going. Uh, Mahmoud Miradov, pretty brutal loss for him, and then Gerald Mearshart, kind of. He was another guy. You no, know, I wouldn't say they was fighting for his job, but he's been kind of just like a. I don't think he he hasn't won a fight. He hasn't won back to back fights since 2018. So I think this is the first time that he's won back to back fights in over three years. So this is a kind of career trajectory changing win for him. He would have been definitely on. I, I wouldn't say on the cutting block, but close to being on the on the cutting block. It, were he to lose this and uh yeah good win for him